Sup sports fans, it's, uh, Yankees Jets fan 71 back with another video. Uh, so today is kind of like a part two of my recent uh, ad additions to my collection. This is going to be the bobblehead slash figurine statue, whatever you want to call it, video. Um, I have been picking up a few new pieces for my bobblehead collection and um, got some pieces in that were, you know, I paid obviously and some of the pieces were actually uh, gifts uh, like this little bend bendos figure uh, someone threw it up on the Twitter asked if anybody wanted it someone tagged me and I was like hey I'll take it this is unique for my Yankees uh, collection and the guy was gracious enough I even offered to pay shipping he wouldn't hear of it and he sent it my way so I am yeah you know, I, I like it I know it's a weird piece for the collection but it's still for the Yankee collection, it's for my collection, and you know, if I can be as diverse as I can with it, then that's even better, so very happy to have added that to the Yankee PC. Um, the next piece I picked up was one that I've actually been after for quite a while. Um, there is a, a guy, an Oakland A's guy on, uh, on Instagram and Twitter, Nor. Cal Bowles or something like that. I forgot the guy's name. Um, Smitty, if you're watching this, you, you know I think he's actually one of your buddies. Um, he had post he had a post that he actually I had commented on one of his uh, statues and told him I had I used to have the Yankee version and I've been looking for one that I can actually afford. So he hit me up off um, in, a, in a message and said, "Oh, I have one." And I'll sell it to you for this price uh, if you want it. And I was when the when the price he quoted, I kind of did like a, a, a what? Seriously? Heck yeah, mine because I paid well below market value on it. And he he's a really nice guy. I even you know speak to him to this day and every now and then. Um, but this is the piece that I've been after that I've had. I used to have it and got knocked off a shelf and broke and that's never going to happen again this is from the all-star game when uh, the all-star game was in anaheim um they had all these mickey statues done up in different teams um so here's the yankee one let's take a closer look at it how beautiful this piece is and you get the yankees logo all over mickey he has the pinstripes with the ny ny is all over the place you have the 27 championships there the ny again I love the facade painted on the base. You got the All-Star Game logo in the corner. Uh, this is just a remarkable, remarkable piece. And I was devastated when my piece got destroyed. So you got the World, the World Series champions there. I believe this took place in 2010, the year after the Yankees won the World Series. And I was, I, I'm over the moon that I have this piece back in my collection. And I can't think uh north cal north cal enough for getting this back into my pc and i will never let this piece get destroyed ever again uh sticking with the disney theme bought this from uh, a face one of my facebook uh, bobblehead groups this is the goofy new york yankees bobblehead he's a pitcher here he's you know kind of winking at you like i'm gonna throw one right on the coconut he's in the road you know he's Got Goofy on the mound. So actually, I, I've actually wanted to pick up some of the Disney pieces. Never got around to it. This was quoted to me at a really good price also. He's wearing the O2. So I'm guessing this piece was made in 2002. And that's why he's rocking the O2. But this is beautiful. I love this. I have, I've been wanting to pick up the uh, Disney bobbleheads for a while. I'm really happy that I'm able to have it. It's made of, of course, by Alexander Global, one of my favorite bobblehead companies. After Foco, Foco's my favorite. Um, for a while, Foco wasn't. Alexander Global was because they kept knocking it out of the park. But Foco's stepped up their game in the past few years, and I just love their pieces. But I am just thrilled to have this. Hopefully, the first of the many other Disney bobbles that are well, it's not many. There's Mickey. Um, there's Donald. There might be a couple of other, a couple of other um, variations of these bobbles. I don't know how to check, but I know there's three of them. I don't think there's a mini or or any other character that was made. So I'll be hunting the rest of these down. So and that's 
that for the Disney portion of my collection. Um, the next piece I picked up, I, this is the most recent one. And this is probably the most delicate one of them all. It's a Sam's Reggie Jackson bobble. It's made of porcelain. Um, I do realize the likeness to Reggie is not there, but uh, for what I paid for this, I am not complaining because Sam's bobbles go for a pretty penny nowadays. Because these were made in the early 90s. They're porcelain. They're not paper mache. They're not... Um, they're not... Uh, plaster or any other type of material they use to make the bobbles now. There's the number 44 in the back. This is a very delicate piece. And you can easily chip it, which is why I kept the wrapper around him. And he has other wrapping that I put on here. I just noticed that he does have kind of a chip on his shoe. It's not, it's not really that bad. So didn't know it, didn't see that when I got it. So, yeah. But that's the newest piece to my Reggie collection. My Reggie Pete doll bobblehead PC is getting up there. I, I have. I pre that might be like my 10th Reggie bobblehead. I have to make a count on that. And the bobblehead Hall of Fame is coming out with a Reggie bobble in June. So I'll be picking that up with the two Jeter ones that are coming out along with it. And there's rumored to be a mantle in that. So I'm probably going to be dropping over $100 on these bobbleheads once they come out. That's got to be... I have to have those. That's just no if ands, or buts about it. The next one was a throw-in on a purchase that I made on Facebook also. Uh, this is just, it's, a, it's, a, it's from 1970s, I believe, early 1970s. It's called a Marks Exclusives World's Greatest Little Leaguer Bobblehead. That's all I know about this thing. Not sure about the exact year on it. I'm thinking early, early to mid-70s. Um, it's a cute peach style. And now, yeah, obviously, I'll definitely keep it in my collection. I had to look to look this up because even the seller wasn't too sure on what the bobble was. Um, and I couldn't find any information on it. I just found the name of it. The year, I'm guessing, I mean, people, I've seen only one eBay um, uh, sell, sale for this. And the guy said late 60s, so I'm guessing early 70s. I don't think it's a late 60s piece. But it's still kind of cool to have in the collection. So I'll absolutely keep it in the collection. And finally, the big piece for me personally. Because this is something I've been after, wanting to do for a while. One of the things I've been wanting to do for my bobblehead collection is collect more vintage pieces. Um, I love vintage bobbleheads. They're expensive. And um, I... Uh, Never really was able to pick any up. Uh, there was a bobblehead that I love. The boy faces from the six to the mid sixties, late sixties, and I've never seen a Yankees one in that, so I've never really picked up one. So this bobblehead is actually not the boy face one. You know, it is a little boy one, but it's from the first series of bobbleheads that came out in 1961. This is either 61 or 19, it's anywhere from 1961 to 1964. It's the orange base Yankees bobblehead. Um, this piece is paper mache. It's in terrific shape. I paid under well under $100 for this bobblehead. I was actually very surprised about the price on it. And the seller did have another piece that I'm actually thinking about wanting to pick up is a little bit of cracking back here so you gotta be really careful with these older paper mache pieces or you know despite the crack back there this is one of the better examples i've seen of this bobblehead and it's it's a beautiful piece i am just over the moon on having it in the collection um bobbleheads are my favorite thing to collect there's the bottom and inside you can see the he actually did stick some uh, bubble wrap in there but there's other stuff that I have to keep the neck from moving while it's put away because right now I don't have any place to display all my bobbleheads unfortunately are put away right now until I'm able to display them so this one has other things to wrap around it to keep it from from uh, getting damaged but this is that's just the start of my uh, vintage bobblehead collection bobbleheads are my favorite things to collect I t you know, car even more than cards, to be honest. I just love bobbleheads. I just love looking at them on a shelf when I see them out and about. 
um, when I see them on tables at, at, at card shows, I will usually try to pick one up at a card show before, if I can, if if I can afford, if it's not too not too overpriced. And I picked up, gotten some great deals at card shows on bobbleheads in the past. Um, but yeah, those are my pickups. Um, just really, really excited about the new pickups that I have picked um, picked up over the past couple of months. And I haven't shown any bobbleheads recently, so I just wanted to get these out, you know, show these out there. Possibly I'll do an individual review on each and every one of them. But, yeah, those are the ones I picked up. So, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, you can leave all comments down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I love having, more, having you guys here watching my channel as much as you guys do. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you have a great weekend. Remember, again, stay safe. Say, um, use your head when you go outside, wear masks, wear gloves, wash your hands, wash your faces, and just please be safe. Um, here in New York, the pandemic curve seems to be flattening. The number of hospitalizations are starting to go down, but that's no reason for us to go haywire just yet. Um, hopefully soon this will be all over, you know, and we'll be back to our normal lives. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Take care of yourselves. Card Family for Life essay. Peace.